Hi there, welcome back to our channel. It's currently the Mommy Daughter Duo. Unless, of course, we've changed the title by then because of the comments that you've left us down below to either Lifestyles of the Young and Younger or The Pandemic Made Us Do It. So today we're going to be trying um, four different hot pots. Um, three of them came with these little utensil packets, so they have like um, travel size type chopsticks that you kind of put together to make longer like this. They come with a spoon, a napkin, and there's also a toothpick in these. So today we're going to be trying um, this mini, this vegetable mini hot pot tomato flavor. Uh, a tomato flavor sweet sausage mini hot pot Chinese style. Then we added a spicy one in there with the beef mini hot pot spicy flavor. And then we got a different brand, which just came with like a little fork that you put together. One of these ones here. And this is a self-heating vegetarian hot pot barbecue flavor. So I want to say with this one, the instructions were very vague. Like, the instructions were good, but the packages inside were very vague because they didn't have English written on them. So when like i put all the packages that were sitting in the top of it apparently one of them i guess one of the seasoning ones was a barbecue flavor that is supposed to go at the end but was at the top and the potato packet was at the bottom of the thing but needed to go into the top part of it so very confusing on the instructions because the packages did not have any english on them for me to understand that okay this is the potato packet it needs to go in so that it can go in with the stuff it's supposed to go into now it did come with a little heating pad that you do cover with some water and it was pretty cool. I thought it was a little weird at first because it started to make like a little bit of a sizzling sound but then you saw steam starting to come out of the container so I thought that was really awesome the way that it self heats. However, it does take 15 minutes if you're going to self heat it. So if you've only got a half hour break, this probably isn't going to be the best idea to do for you. Um, the rest of them can all be heated up in the microwave in seven minutes which is still a little bit on the longer side but it's reasonably decent compared to a 15 minute self-heating. You can also cook these ones up and the other ones up in the pot. So we do, I have given us a glass of milk to go with some of those more spicy flavors. So we're gonna give a try to some of these and see how we like them. This is our first time trying hot pot, let alone instant hot pot. So we're gonna give it a shot and see if we like them or not. Cause we did multiple ramen noodle videos. Yeah. So now we're gonna try hot pots. I don't even know what a hot pot's supposed to taste like. Can I use my chopsticks? Yes, you may go get your chopsticks. So Belle's got her own little set of chopsticks that has like a little thing on the top and they just kind of sit in there. So it takes the guesswork out of like trying to use your fingers because all you gotta do is kind of just snap it together. It does most of the work for you. Kitty, I've had this as us like so many. All right, so what's the first one you want to try, Belle? Okay, so this is the vegetable one. So I'll just show you guys what all the hot pots look like before we start. For the most profitable job in the sheep farmer's calendar, sheep. Okay, so there's the vegetable one. This doesn't really look like There's the um, sweet sausage one, tomato flavor. Here's the spicy beef tomato flavor for the spicy beef. And this is the um, vegetable barbecue flavor. Okay, if you've tried any of these, let us know what you think of them. So we're going to be trying, I think, some different um, vegetables like lotus root. I think that might be a lotus root, maybe. Or woodier, maybe. I don't know. I just missed them entirely. Love, it's going to be hot. Were invaluable to the Tudor Shepherd, who looked after a whole community's sheep in the wide open countryside. Oh, I think we might use one of the lids that came with it to 
just kind of go underneath so that we don't make a mess. But gathering the sheep out in the open was a difficult task. I like this one. In addition to the crooks, I find the these chopsticks the very difficult to use. And our owner, Hugh Emerson, to drive the flock back to the farm. Sheep naturally flock together. Right, so that's an essential characteristic of sheep. There are only really three commands. Go left, go right, and stop. That's I think I might have to go to my other ones. I'll get them. If you don't stop your dog, then she'll just drive them off. They're very slippery. Your dog will work cheap. Progress, progress. Doesn't matter if they're at the pair or not. This is a bearded collie. There you go. Traditional sheep. Classical. There we go. It's a little better. You see, actually drops ahead. I like that one. Yeah. Tracks are pressing. I think this one will be spicy too. Okay, there's a wood for you. Yep. Wait, is this hey, why don't you try some of the vegetables on this one, Bill? So it's got bamboo shoots, and it's got lotus root, it's got wood ear. Just to list a few of the ones that it comes with. They're off. Cook time in there. And that did nothing. Crunchy! What's the shame? So let's see. Um, so it has pickled vegetables. It has uh, so salted lotus root, uh, potato, wood ear, salted kelp, salted bamboo shoot. So I think this is the salted kelp. I think this is the bamboo shoot. Yeah, that's the bamboo shoot. This is the potato. Safety back. There's one more job to do in preparation for shearing. What's this? Because sheep was so valuable, the or maybe this is called. I don't know. Looks like one of those coins that you would to get in the movie. The price, so it either looks. Like, it's either lotus root or the wood ear. I might have to Google that after to see what it is. But it doesn't taste too bad. I like that. Alright. So we're going to move on to the next one here. So I'm just going to put some noodles into my lid here. I need to finish Not just so you've got a nice clean fleece at the end, but also if the shears come across anything, it will blunt them. But things aren't going quite to come. This is like a buffet. Try and grab like a little piece of the sausage going on there. Yeah, run away sheep. Okay, I'm done. So some of these aren't too bad yet. The piece is just dragging around to the other side of the house. So the instructions for these are a lot more clear, although they're not very specific in that it just says empty all the packages, fill it with hot water, which makes it real simple, really easy to do. I hate how these always come apart. And yes, the sausage is very sweet flavored. We're also watching documentaries right now. What is the, the deal with the wool? Why do I keep this It's really mucky. Well, if it's all glued together, like, um, then okay. you can't okay. use it. It becomes unsaleable and unusable. So let's see if our noodles are cooled down. And these are just vermicelli noodles. Why are these so sweet? Because it's a sweet sausage. You want to try some of this? No, no, no. That's potato belt. I mean, this one I'm not able because it's really hard to pick up. Oh. One of these days, we're going to have to go and see if we can find maybe a hot pot that we can get to take home. Like a takeout hot pot. 
and make a comparison. If you'd like to see us make a comparison between the instant hot pots and a real hot pot, let us know in the comments down below. This one I like. I'm scared for the spicy one. I almost don't want to try it. Yeah, I'm a little scared for the spicy ones too. We don't eat a lot of spice, mm -hmm. mostly because, you know, I'm getting a little older. My system just can't handle as much spice anymore as it used to be able to. I don't like spice. But I figured just to be able to make the comparison between them, because unfortunately the beef flavor does not come in like the tomato non-spicy version. So I figured we get it just to give it a shot, see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting it after you, whether or not I want to taste it. So I'll get myself some noodles. I like the first two. So I got myself some noodles here, some vegetables, and a little piece of beef. I want, I'm scared to try the noodles. <laughs> Try the middle flap. I think maybe this would have been better without using the sauce packet. Yeah. Take because off. eventually the the spice in it does hit you. Holy crap, that's spicy. You have the milk. I only had one noodle and that's spicy. Look at you. I'm probably not going to be eating any more of that. No way. I think I got one noodle of that and I'm done. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm going to try the beef. And to the beef and the meat. Okay, so I think we've pretty much determined that the spicy versions of these hot pots are not good are not for us unless we take out the uh, the spicy part of it. Although I do think that a non-spicy version of this should be offered because I think it'd be pretty good. I tried, wait. All right. I tried one of these and it was really spicy so I'm just scared. <laughs> You're lucky you have most of your milk left. <laughs> Go get some more milk if you need more milk. Hmm? Although the spice in that is a very odd sort of spice, where it's not like like a seasoning type spice, where it's like just chili powder or chili flakes. There's some very odd types of seasonings that they're using in that. We use spice, but just not a lot. Like we'll use some, a little bit of pepper or whatever. So I did try some of the potato from the barbecue one. Uh, and it was a little bit on the spicier side. <laughs> which is weird, considering that it's a barbecue flavor. So it shouldn't be that spicy. I'm trying some noodles. Oh my god. It's not noodles, that's bean sprouts. Well, bean sprouts, I don't care. Do so the spice that they're using in that uh, oh. spicy beef hot pot is actually making my tongue and my lips tingle. So I'm not sure what spices they're using in that. I don't like this. Oh my god. It's really hot. So there is a slight barbecue flavor to it. Oh, my eyes are watering from that last one still. But it is still quite spicy. My taste buds are still really tripping over that last one. 
I hate that asshole. Yeah, we're both probably not going to be eating any of those. No. So I think between Bill and I, we're going to be sharing the first two that we did. Yeah. They're less of an assault on our senses and our poor taste buds that we just killed off eating the last two. <laughs> So I think that's going to be it for this video. So the two that, the first two that we tried, the tomato flavor hot pots, they're actually pretty good. We'd eat those again. The last two, no, not so much. It was good for an experiment to try it, see how they work out, especially the self-heating one. But I think trying it is about as far as we're going to go with those ones because we're sweating up a storm. And our whole mouth is just tingling from the spices that were used. Yeah. Whew. So that's everything for this video. We'll guess we'll see you guys in another one. That's everything for us for today. Bye. Bye.